Barry, listen to this. Every day, the Daily Globe will publish a rhyme. A clue to Chalky White's whereabouts. Chalky White? Who is he, then? Well, nobody knows. Well, what's he look like? Nobody knows. Could be anybody. I've got an idea. We could look him up in the phone book. Good idea. Don't be silly. He'll not be in the phone book. Isn't he on the phone, then? No, oh, Chalky White isn't his real name. Oh, isn't it? No, no, no. He's somebody who's employed by the Globe to walk around all day. If anybody recognises him, they go up with a copy of the paper and he gives them five pound. Brilliant! What's the clue, then? Well, have a look. I've clocked you, Chalky, fair and square. Now punch my ticket. I've paid my fare. The Globe has trained you, but you fail. I've tracked you down at British Rail. So where do you think he is, then, Paul? It's obvious, isn't it? Where? He's at the dog pound. Come on. Excuse me, madam. Do you recognise me at all? Oh, it's all right. It's me, Chalky White from the Daily Globe. The next train will arrive. told you you wouldn't be at the dog pound. How did the last line of the rhyme go again? The globe has trained you, but you fail. I tracked you down at British Rail. Well, it's a possibility, I suppose. Let's sit down. Well, I can't see him. Well, he said in the paper he'd be wearing a disguise. Uh, excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing. Are you looking for someone? Oh, yes, we're looking for <laughs> short... <laughs> No, it's all right. We're not looking for anyone, thank you. But I thought we were... Shh. We don't want everybody to know we're looking for Chalky. Excuse me, did you say Chalky There White? he is. Where? Over there, by the ticket barrier. Come on. That's him. That's Chalky White. How can you tell? Punch my ticket. That's what it says on the rhyme. Oh, look. He's just looked at his watch. I've clocked you, Chalky, fair and square. We've clocked him now. Come on, let's go and claim our fiver. Right. We have the late running of the train to Liverpool. This is due to the on the line. This train is due to arrive. We clocked you, Chalky, fair and square. Now, punch our ticket, we've paid our fare. Maybe tomorrow. It's arrived. Right. What's it say, then? I'll have a look. Here it is. Despite the cap, you've never looked finer. It's chalky white, my dear old China. What do you think? Hmm. Mm. Cap. China. Of course! The art gallery. Come on. Him, then. Well, he definitely wasn't in the art gallery. Now, let's have a look. It says here, despite the cap, you've never looked finer. It's chalky white, my dear old china. Well, it is a china shop. And he's wearing a cap. Come on. Despite the cap, you've never looked finer. It's chalky white, my dear old china. Despite the cap, you've never looked finer. It's chalky white, my dear old China. Despite the cap, you've never looked finer. It's chalky white, my dear old China. Oh dear, he's wearing earmuffs. This is my Sorry, we thought you were someone else. What's it say today, then? Let's have a look, then. Here we are. It says, sweetness and light, that's chalky white. Today I anoint you with angel's delight. Hmm. Hey, we don't want any slip-ups today now, Paul. You're right. I'll take charge.
Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. It said in the paper. We've got to anoint him with Angel's Delight. But he's the vicar. No, he's Chalky White. I know what I'm doing. Brethren, we are gathered here today to remember one of the great biblical figures, Noah, who once said... Sweetness and light, that's Chalky White. Today I anoint you with Angel's Delight. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm really fed up now, Pope. Shh, I'm concentrating. Well, three days we've been at this now. Not a sight, no sound of him. I don't think he really exists. I think it's all a big con. Of course he exists. There's a picture here of yesterday's winner. It says Chalky White was in the high street yesterday, dressed as an old man. Well, we were in the high street. I know. We were probably as close to Chalky as you are to him. No, if we were that close, we would have spotted him. Well, he'll not get past us again. In this picture, you can clearly see that Chalky's got a gold ring on his right hand. Oh, dear. So now we've got to look for a gold ring, then? No need. Hold that. I've just perfected my chuckle gold detector. Really? How's it work? Well, whenever it gets near gold, the light flashes and it makes a noise. Come on, let's go and try it out. No, I'm staying here and I'm fed up. Please yourself, I'll go on my own. <coughs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Musician, are we? Uh, no, no, not me. Oh, going to a fancy dress party? Well, you've got a lovely day for it. I'll see you back at the house. OK. After I've won me fiver, I'm going down the shopping precinct. <laughs> Excuse me, don't I know you from somewhere? Yes, yes, you might do. I seem to connect you with the railway station. Yes, yes. Of course, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. No, I'm in the paper. Are you? You're you amateur golfer scores hole in one? No. Are you... Skydiving Granny has lucky escape? No, page 18. Oh, page 18? You're not, are you? Yes, yes. Sail now on it... a MFI. No! At the bottom! The bottom! Chalky White? <laughs> You're Chalky White! Yes, yes, at last! Sweetness and light, that's Chalky White. Today I anoint you with Angel's Delight. You found me, sir. You're not a skyver. On behalf of the globe, here's your fiver. Thank you very much. <laughs> Chalky White. Hey, I can't wait to tell Paul. Just imagine me spotting Chalky White. It must be great having a job like yours. What, you think it's good giving all this money away? I'm telling you, I'm fed up with it. Are you? I thought it must be really rewarding making all those people happy. Yeah, but it makes me miserable. I've not had a holiday for three years. Oh, dear, that's terrible. Yeah, and I booked to go tomorrow and I can't go because I've got to work. Oh. Tell you what, how about if I take over for you? Would you? Yeah, I'd love to be Chalky White. Oh, it's a deal. Great. Meet me at the newspaper office tomorrow morning for your costume. What do I have to do? Well, what you have... I'll tell you what, you can have a go now. Can I? <laughs> Excellent. Well, try this costume, and I'm sorry the wings and the halo are a bit grubby. I've been wearing it years. Oh, that's no problem. A lick of paint will soon sort that out. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetness and light, you're Chalky White. Today I anoint you with Angel's Delight. Come here, come here, I won't be five pounds. Oi, oi. I know you're there, Chalky. Sweetness and light, here's your angel's delight.
Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello? Is anybody there? Who said that? Can't you see me? No, can't you see me? No, I've got this helmet stuck on my head. Oh, dear. Had an accident, then? Yes. All my brother's fault. I wanted him to help me, but no, he wasn't bothered. I know exactly what you mean. My brother's useless as well. You're better off without him, I say. My brother never lifts a finger. I have to do everything. My brother's just the same. I mean, I have all these brilliant ideas, but is he interested? Really? Yes. I mean, last week, I came up with this brilliant idea of an automatic lawnmower. But was he interested? No. Lawnmower? Did that involve him being strapped to a skateboard and being pushed round the garden with a pair of scissors? <laughs> hey, that's right, yeah. And then there was the time I turned his record player into a potter's wheel. Ruining his Betty Boo record in the process. That's right, but was he grateful? <laughs> of course, I'm the brains of the outfit, you know. Always have been, always will be. So, uh, what have you been doing today, then? Well, I've been looking for that chalky white, you know, out the globe. Good grief. I've just seen him outside. Hey, where? Well, he did say something about um, going to Scotland tonight. Scotland? Tonight? I've got to catch him. Chalky, chalky, oh, oh, chalky, chalky, chalky white, chalky. Morning, Barry. What do you think of our flyman costume? Well, I usually take a 28, but it's not bad. Oh, well, don't get in a flap over it. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, you do know what to do. Oh, yes. I'd better be off now, then. All right. Best of luck. I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> Have a nice... Hey, Paul, where have you been? You've not been home all night. I've got to find him. I've got to find Chalky White. Hey, I've got some really interesting news. I've got a new job. I nearly caught him last night. He was playing the bagpipes in Glasgow. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I've got a new job. I'll catch him this time, though. They've printed his picture in the paper, handing over yesterday's prize. Yes, but Paul... Now all I've got to do is to wait for him to come out, clock his face and follow him. I know, but... Uh, excuse uh, me, excuse me. Uh, hey, that's him. That's Chalky White. Yes, but Paul... I... Come on, he's getting that taxi. We've got to follow him. Oh, dear. So you're the last one on. Here's your boarding pass. Have a good flight. Just a minute, just a minute. Where do you think you're going? We're following that man. Uh, may I see your ticket, sir? We well, haven't got a ticket. I see. But I'll buy one. How much? Yeah, hang on now. You're not going anywhere until you've got a cage for that buzzard. That thing. <laughs> That's not a buzzard. That's my brother. Oh, come along now, sir. Let's not play games. You see, we can't have that thing flapping around loose at 30,000 feet. There's the other passengers to consider. It'll have to travel in the cargo hold. Here, I don't want to travel in the cargo hold. I want to go in the cabin with you, Paul. That's amazing. A talking buzzard. I've never seen anything like that. Wait here, just wait here. My boss would love to see this. Hey, he thinks I'm a bird. Never mind about that. Get in these cases. Something you ought to know. Just shut up and get in. It's amazing, I tell you. Five and a half feet tall with large wings. A talking buzzard. Can you believe it? Oh. Well, it was here. But he was here. Oh. Sure. He was here. At least. I think he was.
fantastic. I think I'll go for a swim. Now, where's my trunks? Oh, I've been looking forward to this for three years. No more walking the street. No more silly costume. No more giving money away. <sighs> a complete break from Chalky White for two solid weeks. Oh. <laughs> Chalk is flying high today with cardboard wings to fly away. His elastic band will give a twang and he'll fall to earth with a loud bang. What are you doing here? We've been following you, Chalky, haven't we, Barry? Barry? So you think I'm Chalky White? We know you are, don't we, Barry? Barry? <gasps> Barry? Hi! She's in Corcalde! It's Chucky White from England. Mira, 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 mira que rock. Un momentito. Mira, mira. A Chucky flying high today with cardboard wings to fly away. His elastic band will give a twang and he'll fall to us with a louder bang. You found me, sir. You're not a skyver. On behalf of the globe, here's a fiver. Oh, papi. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Mami. Ciao. Just a minute. You a chalky white? Yeah, I tried to tell you. I was helping out my friend here. He took over from me yesterday so I could have a break. So it's all been a waste of time then? Oh, well, at least we can have a proper holiday now. Yeah, I suppose so. Just think, a nice relaxing fortnight in the sun. Great. <laughs> Thought this was supposed to be a nice relaxing holiday. It's not my fault they keep recognising me. Oh no, here they come again. Chucky, 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 Chucky,